All right, well, one more time. Couldn't resist the temptation. Let's have one more look at one other Surefire pen. We'll get to it together. I like that first one, but I saw another one. I was tempted, and I broke down. This one, the Surefire Pen 2, comes in three colors. I opted for the blue. What do we think? Initial impressions. It's cold. It was in my mailbox. But this, initial impressions, this compared to my other one, I didn't like the fact that it had a triangle-shaped grip. This one has a rounded grip. And so far, I like it. So there you go. I'll use it for a little bit like I did with my other Surefire, the Pen 4. It is a lot smaller. But I'm going to take it to work. I'm going to use it for a while, and I will come back and fill you in on my thoughts. All right, well, I've had a few days to give this pen a try and get a little bit more thoughts of it. And all I can say is that I absolutely love this pen. Everything that I was not thrilled with about the Pen 4, I love on this pen. I really have no complaints about this pen. I guess maybe the only complaints are that I wish it came in more colors for a little more variety. Uh, I'm happy with the colors there are. I just wish they were more, just for the heck of it. Uh, it comes in black, blue, and pink. The colors, uh, I assume the black is black. I haven't seen the pink. The blue, though, is a little bit different than on the website. On the website, it's kind of this sort of uh, electric blue, and in person, it's a little bit more of a steel matte anodized blue. So it's a nice color. Nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit different than it is on the website. So just something to note. It's not going to be that big shiny blue. Um, the pen, though, overall, though, is wonderful. The price, not so wonderful. you got to get yourself over the price because it is a, cover your ears, $95 pen. Uh, you can find it cheaper, but it's an expensive pen no matter any way you look at it. Um, but if you're looking for a pen that's going to last you, I think, roughly forever, and that is super tough, this is a great option for you. I did a review of that $15 pen, and it was a fine $15 pen, but it's clear, seeing the two, that that's a $15 pen, and this is a much more expensive pen. So I think you do get your money's worth for what that's, for what that's worth. The construction of it is super tough. It's made of a, the body is a single piece of mil-spec Type 3 hard anodized aluminum, which is super tough. It's thick. It is chunky. It's hefty. It feels great in your hand. It's not too long. It's just about the right length, a little over five inches, so it doesn't stick out too far. Um, but this is one tough pen. I think, you know, and take whatever you throw at it, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to hold up to it just fine. The construction of it, the tail cap here, it is wonderful. Nice and smooth. Definitely click in, click out. Joy to use there. The pocket clip is designed wonderfully. It's... Uh, Stainless steel, and it is tough. It's not going anywhere. I already bent the one on that $15 one. I don't know how. Somehow. The pocket clip here, you can see it kind of ramps in a little bit, so that's going to, going to go into your pants nicely. It goes over a flat surface, and then after it goes in there, it actually, I don't know if you can see, goes down just ever so slightly right in here. And that whole thing is smooth, so there are not going to be any underclip issues like you have with some knives or pens or flashlights. Pocket Clip is designed wonderfully. Surefire logo here. I could take it or leave it. Uh, if it said SF, like on the Pen 4, I might prefer that, but it's fine. Whichever. Down here, the grip is rounded, which I love. It's not that triangle grip of the, the Pen 4. I'll maybe I'll do a comparative review of the two at some point in the near, near future here. But the grip is very comfortable. It's rounded. I had some initial concerns about the Pen when I had just seen pictures of it that this part right here where it looked like it was a sharp cutoff that I was going to want to be holding it way down there and that was going to be uncomfortable. That's not the case though. You, you really can't hold it down that far. It's just not practical. So you hold it back up here and it's very comfortable. It's round, it's smooth, it's very easy to grip. No complaints there. The machine tip here, it's very tough. I heard some stories about when this pen first came out, people were having trouble with this tip coming open. 
and then I heard that Surefire started, started putting some Loctite in it. I think when I undid this, it was very tough to get undone for starters, so I don't think it's going anywhere on you. And I think it actually had a little O-ring in there. Um, so it's very tough, it's, it's tight on there. The reason I took it out is because the ink that came with it, which is the Schmidt Easy Flow 9000, I, for some reason, had some problems with it writing on the thermal prescription paper used at the hospital. I don't know why. I couldn't reproduce it when I did the other video. Um, but, uh, but it just made me look into a few other options. So I picked up a Parker Quink Flow and a Fisher Space Pen re uh, Refill. Both of these are right around $5, as is that, uh, that Schmidt. The Schmidt that comes with the pen, the only choice with the pen is black ink. It comes, you can get it in blue, but with the pen, the only choice is black. I picked up blue in both of these. My favorite of the three, the Quink Flow and the, and the Fisher pen are very close to each other, but I think that overall I prefer the, the Space Pen, the Fisher. It writes very smooth. It, it's, it's nice. I, you know, I, I've been using the cheap free drug pens for the past 10 years, and I wish I had been able to talk myself into a pen like this sooner because I really do enjoy writing with this because it just writes so well, it's comfortable, uh, it, it's very nice. So um, the difference between the Fisher pen and this uh, Schmidt, the Schmidt Easy Flow, the Schmidt is a little bit between, kind of a cross between a roller ball and a ballpoint pen. I'd say it's 75, 80% ballpoint pen and 25 or 20% roller ball. Uh, it's nice, it works fine, and probably most people are not going to have any problems with it. I just had that one little problem, so I, I went and searched for a couple other options. But overall, this pen, I absolutely love this pen. It is tough, you know, if it had to, they don't market it as a defensive type, tactical type pen. And do I ever think I, you know, that's not the reason I bought it. I didn't buy it exactly with that in mind. Do I ever think that I'm going to have to fight my way out of something with this pen? No, probably not. But if task with the situation I think this would do certainly just fine and it would take whatever you threw at it um, some plastic pens would probably do okay this one is going to do a lot better because it is tough this aluminum body it's not going anywhere I got some questions on that $15 pen I reviewed of it would would it be able to handle some light prying work and on that one I'm not sure this one I bet could handle a lot I don't know exactly how much force you could put on this but this is one tough pen so I bet you could do some some form of prying work with this. I don't know what all prying work you people are doing with your pens, but this could probably take some of it, I'm sure. But I, anyway, overall, I love this pen. If you can get yourself over the price, which is, it's expensive, no no two ways about it, but this pen, I think, is going to last you forever. So check it out, Surefire Pen 2.